hello guys i am back again still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria so good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right guys um i quickly want to share this with you because there is a lot of reaction uh over this particular story just as you have seen on your screen native doctors flee as security agents storm nine anambra shrine so um, yesterday, as we already know, was um, a Black Sunday in Ondo State. And we also know that today being Monday is always a public holiday uh, in Southeast. So I have a lot of information to share with you. So as I'm talking to you, unknown gunmen had already said um, a blaze dangote truck. But that is, by the way, I will give you more information on that. So don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your bell notification uh, so you get updates on that particular story. So security agent in Anambra State, um, according to them, has busted nine camps belonging to unknown gunmen in Anambra, uh, South Senatorial District. So nine shrines used by the hoodlums for oath taking were also, according to them, raided by the Joint Tax Force on Security in the state. A police source said um, native who acted as informant to the hoodlum were also in detention and making useful information and statement. Some of the areas raided by uh, the tax force include Agulezu Kuchuku in Aguata local government, um, Ebenatu community in Newe South local government, Ezinifite community also in Newe South, Newe South uh, local government, and Ichi that is in Ekwoziku local government. And other areas include part of Ozumugu, Lilu, and some part of Ukbo in Newi South in Ihiala local government. So they saw said most native doctors had fled from their homes because some of their colleagues who were arrested had been providing names of those involved in killings and kidnapping in the state. So the Anambra Police Public Relations Officer DSP Tochuku Ikenga said it was too early to begin uh, to count the success in the war against the terror in the state. Okay, guys, so um, a lot of people is of opinion that why not these people use the same energy they are using for known gunmen in other parts of Nigeria? As I'm talking to you, some people said um, Boko Haram is already in the Southwest. Of course, yes. And the media, I think um, it, it's a uh, channel's uh, television website. When they reported that what happened in Ondo State yesterday was a bomb blast, later on they deleted that post. When people, priests in the parish, that the Catholic uh, parish said, they were locked inside the church for about 20 minutes and these people were killing. They were killing at will. Some people believe that more than 100 people were killed. If you saw the pull up, check my previous videos. Check my previous posts about that. I shared those videos for you guys. When you saw pull of blood, people, in a short range, it was not a blast. What is going on in Nigeria? And as I'm talking to you, today is uh, APC uh, primaries. These old men will not care about the lives. None of them as none of them will care about the lives of their people. The governor of Ondo State yesterday shed tears. All of us, everybody know that it is just a crocodile tears. They don't care. That is just the truth. Okay, guys, let me know what you guys think. I quickly want to update you that unknown gunmen shrine, according to the police, because I believe the same energy they put when it comes to unknown gunmen and anything that has to do with Southeast, okay? Why not they put the same energy in other parts of the country, especially in the North, where these people are ravaging, kidnapping people, demanding for ransom, millions of naira with motorbikes. Okay, guys, I'll um, see you in another update. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you get updates as I'm bringing you stories, what is going on in Nigeria. See you guys in another update.